heard you say Meet you in the long grass Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and welcome to your June 2016 Astrology. This month is very powerful at the end of the month, as we have Mars, the planet of action, going direct at long last. You may have felt sort of a little bit down, a little bit dragged backwards, or having to relive a lot of stuff to do with the past, but all that energy is finally moving forward. So here's your monthly astrology. Don't forget, to like, subscribe or share. I so appreciate it. This is the astrological update for Gemini for the whole of June 2016. Yeah, baby, it's your time. The flavor of this month is all about you and your energy is really feeling that. And then later on in the month, it's all about finance and security. But right at the beginning, we kick off with your very own new moon. Now a new moon, as I'm fond of saying, is all about letting go of the baggage, starting a new cycle. And this one's got your name written all the way through it like a stick of rock. And it's saying to you, make a wish. Who do you wanna be? What parts of yourself do you wanna let go of? Do you want to break, begin a new journey? Well. You know what? It begins today. Now I do have to say it is opposing Saturn, so it's asking you to look at your personal responsibility in relationships. How responsible are you in your friendships? How responsible are you in your love affairs? Are there any issues that you want to look at in terms of responsibility? There may be endings, there may be beginnings, but it's all about a shift in your understanding of what it means to have a union. Now the sun, oh my God, this is so exciting. The sun is conjunct Venus in your sign. That is massive news, it's lovely. It brings about a sparkle to your love life. It makes you feel confident and yet soft and sensual at the same time. And it gives you a real boost. And also, all genders will be very drawn to you and find your energy beguiling and enchanting and you're like, yeah, I'm feeling quite good about life. On top of that, we then have on the 12th, Mercury entering your sign. And this gives you the gift of the proverbial gab. You're able to, you know, your words are like sweet pearls of joy to people. And I'm, not, I'm actually not being facetious. Generally, you have the special magical powers when it comes to communication. Mercury is your ruler and Mercury's in your sign. So what you say has power. So, you know, obviously say positive things, feel good and put that energy out there. If you kind of think and communicate in a way that's a hassle, other people will pick it up in an amplified way. But if you use this energy wisely, happy days. We then have Venus, the planet of love, entering your position of security. You may be feeling that you want to settle down more, you want to lay foundations. Even if you're single, you're changing your attitude to maybe what you're drawn to when it comes to love. You may decide to commit to yourself, but whatever it is, you feel rock solid and secure. On the 20th, there's a full moon in your position of relationships. So you may have a, an inspiration, you may have a psychic intuition, a sign or a symbol about which what to do about relationships. You may also have a great intense intuitive connection to your partner if you're in a relationship on that day or suddenly have a dream or meet someone interesting and it feels kind of deep and like connected to your unconscious. We have the sun entering, moving out of your sign on the 21st and entering your position of security and finance. But you're going into it feeling strong. And then Mercury, your ruler on the 29th, enters that position. It's great for negotiating deals. It's great for talking your talk and, and manoeuvring yourself into a position that's good for you financially. And then we have Mars going direct. You should feel much more energized on the 29th. Mars going retrograde may have drained your energy. You may not have felt your usual vim and vigor, but now you're like, oh, I can feel my battery recharging. And finally, we have Venus opposing Pluto, and it's asking you to look at the dynamics in your relationship to do with money, to do with power, to do with commitment. 
and there's a way through that you have the opportunity to transform and be aware of your own power it could also again increase your sexuality and your desire for something or someone take care and i'll speak to you soon If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.